For some, the sight of blood can make you cringe. In this case, blood, or at least the plasma part of it, is life-giving. All of us are scrambling to try to do something to make this uh, illness better. Rebecca Haley is the medical director of Bloodworks Northwest. They, along with researchers at the University of Washington, are teaming up to see if plasma can help treat COVID-19. Plasma is the liquid part of blood that all of your cells float in, and it contains mostly water, but it contains the proteins that you make <clears throat> to keep your body running. Those proteins include antibodies, antibodies that are currently in people who recovered from COVID-19. The thinking is that plasma from those who recovered will be injected into those who are sick. So it's trying to supplement the immunity that the patient has not been able to form yet with the immunity that the well person already has. Other trials are taking place elsewhere. One man in San Diego is donating his plasma to help others. I'm here giving a plasma donation to um, help other critical need patients that would you know, do well with my plasma. So. Um, I'm glad that this turned into a positive thing. Researchers say plasma treatment has worked in the past. Haley says it was used during the H1N1 pandemic. And in China recently, the hospital stays for some patients reduced significantly for COVID-19. The treatment even dates back to the 1890s. People who had tetanus, you know, the jaws wouldn't open. Well, they got uh, serum from people who had um, tetanus before them and it cleared up. But will it work now? Time is ticking to find out. The question is, how good is this? How much do you need? What level of antibodies in the blood are the most effective? 